get our pomix and checking now. Wow. Oh. And this is a purple. This is an alkaline and this is acid. Tenemos dos tonalidades, acidulante y alcalino. Yeah. Indigenous people of the Americas were the first to use cochineal as a dye. Look at the white on the cactus. Do you think that this cactus is infected? Do you think that's a mold? What do you think it is? They are actually little cochineal and they do look white and fluffy. That's a protected coating for them. Look at what happens when you smush them. Oh, oh my gosh. That is the red dye, carmine that we have in a lot of our food and products. And they simply come from the cacti, right there. Look at living on them, living right on the cacti. Look, it's war paint. <laughs> now it's on there forever. <laughs> yeah, I just smeared some bug juice on my face and on my hands, look at that. That is some serious dye right there. Cochineal insects are tiny scale insects that have been found on certain species of cacti. They produce a vibrant red dye known as carmine. Cochineal insects have a natural camouflage appearing as small white fluff on the cactus pad they inhabit. This protective covering helps them blend in with the cactus and escape predators. Cochineal insects spend most of their lives attached to the cactus, feeding on the sap. Female cochineals produce a white waxy substance that cover and protect the eggs. The red dye carmine is derived from crushed female cochineal insects. The color comes from carmonic acid, which is extracted from the insect's body. Carmine is known for its intense red stable color, making it a popular choice in food products like yogurt, beverages, candies, and even certain meat products. It's often listed on the ingredient label as carmine, cochineal extract, or E120. While carmine is a natural dye, it has sparked controversy. Some people are allergic to it, and there have been debate over its use in food, especially in vegan and vegetarian communities. In addition to coloring, cochineal insects have been used for other purposes. They contain properties that were traditionally believed to have medicinal benefits, including anti-inflammatory and antiseptic qualities. The harvesting of cochineal insects for carmine production can be labor intensive and has raised questions about sustainability and ethical practices. Some industries are exploring alternatives to meet consumers' demands. Cochineal insects have a fascinating history and offer a unique example of how nature's resources have been utilized for human purposes over centuries.